Hundreds of top collegiate skiers will be in Bozeman and Big Sky January 14th through 16th for the MSU Invitational. Every year MSU will host uh, Invitational where we bring all the best Western schools in from uh, the Western United States and Alaska and uh, this is our weekend. There's a three-day event up at Big Sky on the Alpine side and uh, a two-day event, a uh, Nordic event at Bohart on Saturday and Sunday. We'll have uh, about 10 schools on the Alpine side. We'll have the NCAA Big Power schools from the West. There's six of those and then we'll have uh, Rocky Mountain College and some uh, the next league down. We'll have uh, three or four of those schools coming in from uh, Utah, uh, you know, Billings, uh, Rocky Mountain College. On the Nordic side, uh, Wyoming will join uh, the big power, six power schools for uh, probably a total of seven on the Nordic side. After a successful event in 2008, MSU has learned it will again host the NCAA National Skiing Championships in 2012. Yeah, big news. Um, we host uh, the NCAA Ski Championships and National Championships uh, at Bridger Bowl and at Bohart. They love the venue. Uh, the East just loves it to come out here and that's their pr uh, premier western site that they love to have. So um, as long as we can keep the energy to host it, you know, you, you, if we, we can get on a, every four year schedule probably a host it. 2012 is our year. An event this size requires the help of the Bozeman and Big Sky community. Uh, on the Nordic side and the Alpine side we rely heavily on the ski community. Um, the ski community is uh, the Ski Education Foundations. Bridger Ski Education Foundation does a wonderful job all the way up through uh, the older athletes as far as teaching, uh, Nordic, Alpine, freestyle, everything. We rely heavily on, on their help and, uh, and they're very willing to do it financially uh, and uh, with manpower. Big Sky Ski Education Foundation is more of an Alpine group. They help me tremendously at the Big Sky Ski Area. The ski team works closely with the MSU Human Performance Lab for training, feedback, and analysis. Well, I think probably the two major benefits are the actual feedback you can get from uh, the academic side and their research side. Uh, we're, we can use them as guinea pigs without, and them loving to be guinea pigs, uh, not only uh, for information on training, endurance, strength, um, they have huge knowledge and connections throughout the world with alpine skiers uh, at the World Cup level, so you know that can be trans transferred. And the second part is the um, athletics to academics. Um, anytime the athletic department and individual athletes can um, reach across to academics and, and, and bridge that gap, or it should be a support support group, and anytime we can do that, it's wonderful. Coach Brettelsford would like to see MSU become a contender in NCAA skiing. You know, we've struggled a little bit with the consistency of having a program and funding a program, and now it's, it's in there. Um, we're a contender to be a top six place in the nation. The reason I really want to do that is for MSU, because it's a wonderful place. It's, one of the, it's the number one ski town, Powder Magazine, this year. Um, number five, Outside Magazine, to go to school. You know, it's just... It's just such a blend of outdoor and skiing that we deserve to be up there for recognition on behalf of MSU admissions and trying to keep this university strong with out-of-state out students, with uh, just as a wonderful place and bringing in the right kind of students to enjoy this place and be successful.